Um, not sure how to tell, but I'm really hoping that this shed snake skin belongs to one of my king snakes and not a rattlesnake in here inside this chicken house. Alrighty, I pulled that shed snake skin out, out of the hole in the wall the rest of the way and I can see the definite light and dark stripes. So this is from one of the king snakes, but I was very curious to see how long it was. So also the tail is very long and thin with a pointy tip. So um, if this had been from a rattlesnake, it would have been shorter and fatter with a blunt tip. So if all you see is the tail, and even if there's no rattles, if it's got a blunt tip tail, it's usually a, a rattlesnake or some other venomous snake. But uh, let's see how long this baby is. I don't know why this yellow jacket is so interested. I, I tried to pull the chicken feathers off of it, but they're kind of stuck and I don't want to tear it. And I have a friend that, a couple of friends that do a lot of snakes. And um, I'll probably see if somebody wants this just for a curiosity. So this is measuring about 45 inches. But I'm going to guess that if it wasn't twisted there... And it's kind of stuck together, so I can't really untwist it without um, damaging it. And if it didn't have all these wrinkly bits here at the head end, I'm going to guess that it's probably, this snake is probably about four feet long. Which is a pretty good sized snake. I hope maybe it's big enough to eat squirrels.